Well, you should think twice before sending that not so appropriate picture message to your colleague. Sexting in the workplace can mean big, big trouble, more than you might think. Here to talk about where you should draw the line with those inappropriate texts is attorney David Gobiel. Welcome. It's good to see you. Good morning, Trina. And of course, everybody's been talking about the whole Brett Favre thing. That's right. Yeah. Uh, what got him into so much trouble? Well, uh, definitely sending the uh, inappropriate pictures of himself is the thing that splashed across the headlines. And with the increasing technology, uh, it's important for companies to update their policies and for employees to know what's appropriate and what's not appropriate at work. I would imagine a lot of companies don't even have a policy as of yet because it really is a new phenomenon. That's absolutely right. And it's a, it's a good idea for companies to treat it like they treat emails, which they usually do have policies for. But sexting is a, is a whole other animal that companies need to get used to. Okay. And so I guess how do you as an employee know when that maybe it's something you shouldn't send? What's the criteria? The criteria is would you want some attorney a few months later down the road <laughs> reading your text, which is what ends up happening if it turns into a lawsuit. Okay. And what usually, I guess, puts it into that parameter that it can become a, a lawsuit? Often the texts or sex are trade between people who are consenting to it, but the problem is if either somebody sees it who is not a part of that consensual transaction or somebody, or somebody decides later on that they no longer want to be in a relationship, and uh, that, then they would bring it to the company and, and let them know their concerns. Now, for example, if someone sent it consensually, though, does that back off any of the legality of a person getting in the trouble later? Employees, it's important for employees to understand the uh, privacy issues, especially if they're using company equipment. Uh, they, don't, they don't have a privacy right in that equipment. And even if they are using their own private phones, somebody else can see those. So it's not appropriate to do in the workplace, even though they believe that it's a private communication with another person. Have you been getting many of these cases in your practice? Absolutely. They're showing up in all types of lawsuits. Even if it's not directly related to that, those issues come up because that's what's uncovered when you start looking into communications between people at work. Are you generally seeing it because one person is bringing litigation against another or is a company coming to you saying, hey, we've got this issue? I'm definitely seeing both. Companies wanting to know how to address it on the front end or after a lawsuit has begun, uh, that's one of the claims that the texts were inappropriate and that was a form of harassment. So now we have to deal with it uh, at that stage. Is this something that could cost a company a lot of money? Absolutely, uh, especially if it's between a manager and a subordinate. Once you have those types of inappropriate communications, uh, they, the costs of uh, either resolving or, or if they, they get slammed uh, by a jury, it's gonna, they're going to rise. It seems like it's one of those things that you said, you know, companies should have written policies. And I know we've got a lot of policies on a lot of things, but maybe companies need to do even more like, I don't know, sensitivity training or seminars so people know exactly where the line should be drawn. You're absolutely right. In addition to having a written policy that the employee knows, they should do training, training for managers so they know how to deal with complaints because that's important. Once a company knows about it, it's important that they take action. And so training employees on how to report a problem and who to report a problem to is, is important. Um, if you can talk about it, what's the most, I guess, salacious or interesting case that you've seen that come has come across your desk? Uh, I've seen uh, the uh, inappropriate pictures uh, between consenting manager and a subordinate and at the time it, it looks like uh, they're both having a good time but when you get the lawsuit it's uh, I did not want to be in a relationship with this person uh, so in, in our context it provided good evidence to show that it was a consensual relationship but from the other perspective uh, that's the type of th behavior that can create liability for a company probably just something you shouldn't do that's right all right well thank you so much thank you really appreciate it well for more information on Fisher and Phillips attorneys at law log on to their website at www.laborlawyers.com